TIFU by messing up a very important job interview. Happened about an hour ago and I'm still furious. I've been job hunting for ages now and haven't been able to get one. Closest I got was contract negotiations then I was ghosted but that's another story. Anyway, I came across the perfect job opportunity company car. Three days WFH. Good salary and I ticked every requirement. So I applied online and got called literally 10 minutes later this was last week. A second interview is then set up for today and I spent all weekend preparing for it. Anyway, today is D-Day. The team's call comes in and I make the capital mistake of referring to the wrong company. Which in my mind makes sense because I'm applying everywhere but they don't see it that way in their eyes I'm not motivated enough and not fully committed. I don't even get a chance to explain that I'm unemployed and am applying everywhere before they wish me well and end the call. TLDR said the wrong company name during job interview and they discarded me on the spot. I interview people quite a bit in my role and stuff this happens all the time. We laugh and move on. No big deal. The fact that they killed the interview because you got the company name wrong sounds like something else is going on. Maybe they are intending to fill internally but company policy says they have to post the role. If they're genuinely upset by this then you've dodged a bullet. I wouldn't get too hung up on it. Learn the lesson and move on. The fact that they called you within 10 minutes of you submitting your application tells me they are desperate although not so desperate they would overlook you saying the wrong company. I agree with others when they say being committed would mean working long hours with no extra pay. If they're that petty they're probably a nightmare to work for. Hope you find something better soon. You dodged a bullet here. Not committed will translate into being expected to skip lunch breaks. Staying late unpaid. Taking on extra work for no extra pay. This is the kind of place that will burn you out and discard you when they squeezed as much work out of you as they can. Also, any hiring manager who thinks people only apply for one job needs to give their head a wobble. Oh this is heartbreaking. This is an absolutely forgivable mistake. Shame on that company. Now I've gone for a walk and calmed down a bit I think they were looking for any excuse to not hire me. Sucks but nothing I can do about it. Get that one on glass door I had an interview with a current supplier they claimed I was too supportive of my current employer we yeah. As a suppler you get challenged or I wouldn't be doing my job here. Recruiter was gone inside a year and the guy who got the job's a skiving ghost. Dodged that one I feel. No worries. It's probably not worth working for those bastards anyways. Remember, you're also interviewing them. If a group of people can't understand an honest mistake, then you might be better off not calling them your colleagues. Sounds like you dodged a bullet with that one. If they aren't kind enough to disregard a simple mistake such as that. How much more so would they get onto you for little things if you landed the job? Write them an email and explain your side of story. Worst case they won't consider you but best case they'll give you another chance. I once went to an interview one week before the interview was scheduled. Heard the day of the week on the voicemail. Didn't compute the actual date in my brain properly. God that was awkward. Nah fuck this place. It would have ended up sucking ass in some way. They probably would have micro-managed your WFH days in some shitty way. You're better off. They also called you immediately after you applied which is another red flag. Fuck em. Apply again. 
to see if they're uncommitted enough to call you back without realizing they've already interviewed you once. Then point it out to them if they call for an interview. Dodged a bullet the, whoa, sounds like a nightmare employer to work for. Why would a company that hasn't hired you yet expect you to be committed to them? Sorry brew. I'm in similar situation. I just finished my master's in information science in networking and cyber security and I'm applying everywhere. I live in Durham, North Carolina where many tech companies are here and still can't get a job even for a smart high school student. Part of the issue is that I am an international student with a work authorization that permanents me to have only three months to get a job or I should be going back to my country that I can't live in cold sweat smile. Edit I can't go back to my country because say of some political issues. If it makes you feel better. I literally broke my spine at a job interview last year. But seriously. It sounds like you dodged a bullet here. A callback that fast. Either the interviewer has way too much time on their hands or they're really desperate. Maybe both. Either way. No good. You honestly dodged a bullet. Yeah those are not the kind of people you want to work for. They're unprofessional and will probably have screaming fits at you over trivial nonsense. That's not messing up. That's unintentionally dodging a bullet. I actually did this once in a face-to-face -face interview. I assumed I was toast they called me back for a second interview at which I was out of my mind on cold medication. Somehow still got hired over some other people. Job was a nightmare and I was let go after a month for reasons still not clear to me. What a roller coaster. That seems incredibly petty of them. Not fully committed bitch. I haven't even had the interview yet. I'll be honest. If a recruiter company got back with me so quickly after I applied then I would be suspicious. I'd assume they are struggling to find candidates who would deal with their environment. Or it's a scam. I mean. Who gives a company car to someone who works from home three days per week unless it involves a lot of travel. A few years ago, I had a video interview for a firm in Asia while I was in the US. It was scheduled for Thursday at 7 p.m. I called precisely on time except forgot that Asia is one day ahead. It was Friday when I called. The response was as you might expect. This was a completely rookie mistake since I had been working in Asia for a decade by then and one that, ironically, I haven't forgotten. I can only blame myself. I just placate that it was for the best. In truth. It was. Maybe the same will be true for you. I feel like if they had that many options. They wouldn't have contacted him 10 minutes after he applied. Probably dodged a bullet honestly. I guess you didn't tick the being a fucking robot requirement. A serious company would tell you up front hi. This is X from Z. LLC. Every time I applied for a job and was called. The caller told me where they're calling from because they understand you might be applying to many. Places. Nobody ever called me out for asking them to tell me what company it was if they failed to mention. It at first don't freak out too much. Looking for a job sucks ass but you'll eventually find a better one that is serious enough to forgive an honest mistake. Hell. I've done this as an interviewer here at company one we do things by. And the candidate said you mean company two. Me oh. Right. Yeah. I used to work at company one before. He he. So. As I was saying. Ending a call and discarding a candidate because of a minor slip like this is ridiculous. New fear unlocked.